Hello everyone, Linda Israel here sharing the January 18th creative prompt. This is a collaboration with the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. Robin Finnessy wrote the prompts and I'm executing them in the hopes that I inspire you to create in your journals as well as write in your journals. Do check the show more down below under the description box for details on how to join the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group in the event where you can take photos and share the, your take on each journaling prompt. All right, so today, find a napkin you like from your stash and use it some way in or on your journal page today. Write about your plans for the weekend. All right, so I happen to have this napkin that was sent to me, and since this part of the journal page has reds on it, I thought it might be kind of neat to use that. So if you didn't know, napkins generally have multiple layers, and sometimes you can just grab a hold of a corner. I'm not able to do that today, it looks like. Oh, wait, I got part of it. You can grab a corner and pull it apart. And I can tell that there's more than one layer here, so I'm going to try to see if I can get the second layer. If you have issues getting the layer, another way to do this is to take a piece of transparent tape and gently tap it to the back side, and then you can pull away the layers. So as you see, now we're down to just one layer. You may want to save these. That's up to you. Some people stamp on top of these. I'm going to toss it over to the side at the moment. I'm going to grab a pair of scissors and I'm going to trim one of these little panels out because I only need one. And I'll save the rest of these. I may use them again. Who knows in, the, in this journal. So I'm just going to put it in my pile of goodies. I grabbed a dictionary page out of my stash and I thought it might look kind of neat if we attach these together. So I'll move my journal out of the way. I've just got a mixed media mat here and I've got my dictionary page here and I'm going to just paste this on top just kind of looking to see which direction I want to put it. I think I want to put it where it's crosswise. You'll kind of see it but it won't be really uh, strong through there. The text won't. I have what's called my glue sponge glue pot. I have a tutorial on how to make the glue sponge uh, container. Basically it's putting a couple of sponges in there and then I put some Aline's tacky glue and then I add a little bit of water and then that keeps it moist and keeping it in an airtight container helps as well. All right so I have got a paintbrush here and I know that about from here to here is where I want to put my glue. What I like about using the Aline's Tacky Glue is that it dries clear. So I don't have to worry about if I get too much on a space, it will just be clear and it won't really show that much. So I'm just going to gently paint my page with this glue. And then I'll put my paintbrush into some water and that will clean it up really nicely. All right, I'm just going to move this over just a little bit because that's wet. And then I'm going to take my napkin and then gently place it on top of the wet glue. And what I'll do is I found if I turn this over and then just gently press on the back, especially if it's really thin paper, I don't want it to tear. All right, I'm going to set this aside to dry and then clean up my mat. I'll be right back. I've got a scrap of paper that's red. Since this is really, really thin, I don't want this to rip because I'm going to make it kind of a tip out, if you will, in my journal. So I'm just looking at this. I think I need to cut it to be about... So if I cut a five inch square, let's see how wide this is right now. That's five inches. So let's just make this five inches by five inches. And I'm going to put that on top. I think what I'm going to do is rip around that and then put it down. Well, it's still really wet, so I'm going to use my heat tool to dry it. All right, I think I've got it dry enough. I'm just going to rip around the outside edge here. That's going to go in the center. I think I'm going to apply some Distress inks to the edges. So I've got Walnut Stain and then a blending tool here. It's starting to look pretty good. I think I'm going to go ahead and go around the edge of this red piece with some Distress Ink. 
And as I'm looking at this, I think I need another layer of paper to really make this pop. So let me grab some paper and I'll be right back. I've got a piece of black copy weight paper and I think I'm going to cut it to be about four and three quarters of an inch. So it's just slightly smaller than my five inch square. And I think this will make that look a lot better when we layer that down. Oh yeah, I like that a lot better. I'm going to glue these three pieces together. And so I don't rip this, I'm going to flip it over and use my bone folder to help spread that glue so it'll all adhere really well together. I like the way that looks. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? All right, I think what else I'm going to do is let me get some glitter paint to put on here. I've got some tulip dimensional glitter paint. I think I'm going to put some on the butterfly and the sunflower that's on here. Well, this one's almost empty, so I'm going to grab a different bottle. Here's the one with the little fine tips. I'm just going to use that one. I like this No Clog Riding Cap by Scrap Perfect. If you take apart the tip that's on the tulip paint, you can pull this out, and then the smallest cap will fit on top of here. So it's great for getting in little details. Like, for example, I outlined the letter L. If you can see where I outlined that. All right, I'm going to set this aside to dry for just a moment. And let's get our journal page and let's see what else I need to do. I'm going to put this on here. And I think when I put it down, I'm going to use some washi tape along the side here so that it will flip back and forth. So I'm going to go ahead and write on here my journal prompt, which was to write about my plans for the weekend. So I'm going to write the date, the journal prompt, and then I'll write my plans for the weekend. Okay, I got my journaling done. My glitter paint is almost dry. I'm going to hit it with my heat tool really quick, and then we'll attach it, and then I'll read my journal prompt to you. All right, I think that's dry enough, and I think, like I said, I want to put it in this area up here. Yeah, probably right there. And that way I can still read this down here. So I'm going to put washi tape across here. I just grabbed a little bit from my stash. I think that's the right side up. So I'm going to turn this and put some washi tape right along this edge. Whenever you're using washi tape, don't pull real tight. Just pull it gently and lay it down. If you pull too tight, you'll curl the washi tape up. It'll be taut, and then it'll curl your page. So I'm just going to use my scissors to trim that. And you want it to go right to the edges of a piece that you want to flip. And I'm just going to add a little bit more to the inside as well. That way it's really secure in my journal. I'm going to use my bone folder to really press that into place. All right, so there is my napkin that I added. So let me read to you what I wrote. January the 18th, 2020, the prompt is to use a napkin and then write about plans for the weekend. My plans for the weekend are to finish packing and then travel to Galveston, Texas for a week-long cruise. I'm looking forward to a vacation. Will be great to relax. And then I've added a little note here. The little dog on the left is to represent my dog Hercules. He will be missed when I am gone. Thankful for a dear friend that will dog sit when we are gone. So Norella, when she made the Radiant Red kit, she added this little vintage Yorkie dog to the kit. And every time I see it, it makes me smile. Well, there is my January the 18th creative prompt. I'm liking the way this is coming together. I hope you're enjoying this. I hope that you will check out the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. Again, check the description box down below. And definitely check out my other social media connectors. And if you haven't liked this video 
if you haven't commented if you haven't subscribed please do so i really appreciate your feedback i hope you're enjoying these creative prompts i will be on vacation next week but i am pre-recording all of the videos so that they will automatically post up so i may be wearing the same outfit and all that good stuff because i'm trying to get them all done beforehand all right everybody thanks again for watching have a fabulous day bye